this crypto market is wild guys you need to focus on what the market is showing you from a short term all the way up to the macro because there are signs which you should not neglect you need to look at these things very very critically because once you understand what the history has shown you and how things have played out in the history you get to make really good gains if you are taking advantage of this as much as possible close to perfection agreed not everyone would be able to do that but some of them would be higher than this some of them would be below this but the question is can you really make it happen trending to the upside maybe you are 10x maybe you are 25x but in my opinion what matters is if you can push this to the upside on a same trajectory yes there will be drops but how are you going to use that to push this to the upside now there is something which i really you want you guys to keep in mind this signal on a macro should not be neglected but that doesn't mean you exit the market completely today that means near future you will see a corrective action in the market that should be bigger that may not be the 5 10% drop which we have seen before it would be bigger than that welcome to the scientific investor family where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world right now thousand plus members are taking benefit of all the charts i post on the patreon all of my trades which i open they get to see that depending on which tier you are but they get to see when i open when i close they get to see how that is evolving you can actually see literally there are ups and downs but it's a ride to the upside yes you will drop and if you take dry powder or profits at the top and you can slowly buy back in each time when it is dropping that gives you an added advantage in the market now let's come back into the chart that's more attractive when you look at this pattern that's a symmetric pattern you're not bullish you're not bearish if you break to the upside that becomes bullish if you break to the downside that's super bearish great now you look at this on a daily you're like okay we had a bullish engulfing candle we had a retracement we bounced back up that looks cool but the moment you actually go on to a weekly chart that's where the concerns enter this doesn't look good and when you combine that with a trend like this to the upside oh that really doesn't look good for bulls at least on the short term horizon i know what you guys would be thinking majority would be saying this guy's nuts this guy doesn't not understand what he's talking about but this is the traditional patterns but i would like to reiterate the fact that how many of you saw this coming we posted that in the sr family so the sr family was alerted way before ftt dropped the sr family was well aware of the celsius saying it's about to drop yes that took like 2 3 months after that they knew that the luna was showing you this sign i was saying that at $100 then you know what happened with luna and where the current price is at that time it was the exact same thing people were saying this guy does not understand what he's saying and i did not time it perfectly because think about this i posted that in march it really took few months before you saw the collapse happening so in april i was wrong in may that was like okay uh, he knew something and it's like i don't know anything i'm just looking at the chart the guys might throw it is really bad the climate here is so bad for me at least so forgive me on that now when you come on to this friend i would like to take your attention into what happened in the past maybe i'm 100% wrong on this but i strongly believe the ideas which i shared with you guys about this range i think exactly 
almost similar case is playing out in front of us. The deviation, however, is that we don't have a negative divergence yet confirmed on the macro. Yes, on the short term, when you go on a three-day chart, you have that. Say if you actually take a horizontal line and plot it here, three days saying, Baba, it's over. I have the divergence, meaning you can come down, then still come back up to make a new high. I'm not saying it won't go for a new high. I'm saying it can do this new high. It can still go down and then come back up and put a new high again. But the difference between these two is like six months and the drop here is like 50, 55 percent drop. Or else will drop 80, 90 percent. If you want to write it down, cool. It's completely up to you. But my thought process here is if you're in this range and you're watching the altcoins riding up, which it really is doing that, at least I can see that, right? With the trades which I'm operating on, right? Now, if that's true, now what are you looking at? Say this is a three-day chart. It is showing you the fact that there was a bearish candle. We're still inside that range. We did not bounce back up. I would like to see that happening for sure. But the thought process is, okay, you're still here. You did not break back up for the weekly close. That doesn't look good to me. Now, what do I mean by that? You had small buying volume for sure. It was not, not like a huge buying volume. So the price action moving up was decent, which shows buyers are interested in this. Which for me is like, okay, I really would like to see this grinding higher, maybe 71, maybe 72, maybe 75. I don't know. But I would be looking at the RSI. Is the strength increasing about this? I would be looking at the weekly. Which direction are we really going? Because right now, people are scared thinking about the drop like this. But what if you're going to watch a deeper correction? You know, it's literally in the institutional market, it's by the rumor. And here the rumor is what? The supply shock, right? The halving is nearing. Next month we have that. Boom, the price is about to skyrocket. Okay, let's see. Let's see who's having the edge on this. But if you do look at this, I'm thinking about it. Mm. Okay, we're seeing a lot of selling volume coming in, but for sure on a weekly, bulls are still in control. No one, no one would actually dispute that. Because you actually saw a lot of selling volume coming in on the weekly, but the bulls managed to keep the price still at this range, which is great. So for me, <clears throat> that means if we can actually do this kind of a move, that's good. If we do this, that's good. Now, what if it's not that? What if there is a little bit of difference? There is going to be more choppiness in the market, which would make it even more difficult to play that. Most likely, it's going to be the choppiest one. Most likely, it's going to deliver a lot of confusion. Which means, if you're in the market, you now have to juggle through a lot of different things. Even XRP is still above this. The breakout still holds. I'm like, cool. When you look at the Bitcoin dominance, it shows you we're still trending to the downside, but inside this pattern, which is a bull flag, right? Now, that's a four hour chart. The moment you actually go on a higher time frame structure in Bitcoin dominance, as we've been talking about for years, this still remains. So you have a standard deviation here. If you want to put the argument that it's a standard deviation, we're here. So the first drop in that sense should come down. Whether this is the case or this is the case, it doesn't matter. What matters is that if Bitcoin is about to pee in its pants, that means all coins get hit hard. But when it does go up, are you watching that amount of momentum here? Are you watching that amount of volume here? Because the moment you start zooming out, maybe a three-day chart, maybe a weekly chart, you don't have that amount of volume here. Think about this. This is earlier, last year. This is with all the ETFs and that huge volume from the sky dropping, right? 
Where is it? I mean, the moment you start zooming out, the volume which was involved back in this time, it's not there. It's not there, right? That's the truth. Now you go on different altcoins and you're like, okay, it's the same. It's everywhere. They are slowly starting to get more volume compared to what it was getting in the last one or two years, for sure. But then you compare it with Bitcoin and no, this guy doesn't have that amount of volume. So what the hell is happening? Bitcoin dominance is trending down. It's about to most likely drop to the downside, which means I strongly, strongly believe, or at least I position my portfolio in that way, that if this drop happens and all coins are about to explode, I gain on that. Short term, yes, you will see a lot of choppy moves in this market. Follow the trend. The trend is your friend, which means on a weekly, your trend is still favorable. If you are a perma bull in this asset class, this is your trend line. It's going here. It's going to come back down. It's going to go back up. It's going to do all of that. But what matters at that point is that you need to look at this and ask the question, what are you watching here? The reason I'm taking this much time on Bitcoin and the pattern it's forming is the same as what I've seen here. Is the same as these reversal signals. This was the Adam and Eve pattern, right? The rounded top Adam and Eve inverse. You're watching these kind of patterns every now and then. And even back then, I was saying the exact same. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But what did I say that? If that's true, then this would move like what? The Luna and the Celsius. And we saw what happened. If I'm right again this time, there's going to be a lot of pain in the market for those who are not prepared. But for those who are well prepared, they're going to take massive advantage of this. And that's exactly why 1,000 plus members are here. They look through all of these posts. You know, if you actually go look at these assets, you'll actually see some of them doing really good, some of them giving you opportunities. And that's what I post because there are 60,000 assets plus in this market. And it's not going to be easy if you're new in the market to go through these asset class. Some of them are doing like 30% up for the week already and they're just getting started. We bought them at the dip, close to the bottom. We average it down. We rode that right to the upside last time. We took the profits. We bought back at the bottom, close to the bottom at least. This gives you the advantage to see, okay, if Bitcoin is about to do this, what did the altcoin market do last time? You can compare them, right? Any asset which you want to look through, you can take it, compare it with this. The exact same thing moved during that era. Now, if we are here and we are about to do that, how do you benefit from that? Watch for the assets which are trending up against Bitcoin. This kind of reduces a lot of efforts and fake outs at your end when you're trying to trade mm -hmm. and follow the momentum. One of the easy thing which has helped me over the time of my trading last seven, eight years is that you buy when it's green, at least on a weekly. Like if you're a spot guy, you buy it and you just ride the spot riders. You just buy here and you ride it until there is a close in red, close in red. Sometimes you have fake outs and the time and time when you get more and more fake outs with reduction in momentum, that's a concern. Because other than that, you see increasing momentum. Right now we have seen that increasing momentum. We haven't seen the fading momentum. So most likely that's going to come somewhere here. It's going to slowly grind up to this level. Remember, it's going to put that high. Here, it did. Here, it did. The next stop here, it did. Now, why are they doing that? Or at least think about that. When the price breaks through and put in a new high, people start to think, whoa, the all-time highs is blown. Right? It's about to skyrocket. Right? And then the next candle pulls it all down. So these kind of things will happen, there is no doubt. The amount of whales and financial institutions in this volume 
that's a lot in terms of the ratio. Last time it was comparatively much, much lower. We had massive retail FOMO happening in the market. So this time around, when you're looking at these assets, follow them on the macro on this, which is going to make things easy, which is going to make things so easy for you to ride it with patience. So you go on multiple charts. If your weekly is green, if your three day is green, if your daily is green, okay, fine. And if you're trading, yeah, for sure, you want to go check at the short term charts. If it's correcting, you just sit on the sidelines. The moment it starts becoming green, two candles on an hourly, huh? you buy. On a daily, you just need one. So if you're a long guy, long-term spot rider of these assets, you're on a weekly. You don't care about all this nonsense. Or if you're an ultra-long guy, you're on a monthly. The moment it starts green, mm, you buy in. Boom, it goes up. Because we have seen these kind of choppy sessions every now and then. So this is the first part after the initial momentum, which means the wave two of this wave cycle after the double bottom for XRP is coming. Now, if you take XLM for that matter, it's showing you even higher bullishness. If I compare these two projects, yes, I'm super heavy on XRP, but the chart show that XLM looks even better at this moment. Right. So if you're trading, yes, you rebalance, you do a lot of things. But when you are a long term rider and you have both the assets uh, distributed into the segment, now you're OK. You get to make a decent ROI, maybe above the average, maybe the average. Both of them are really great. Last time, the average was what, 35x for the altcoin market. If you had the micro caps, yeah, maybe you made the thousand. If you had the large caps, maybe you made 20. Right, So there's going to be a difference in that. The way you rebalance your portfolio dictates how your portfolio is about to perform. If you're not in different segments, which would pop in the recent days, you will have a confusion. right? Because say, for example, this is that range which we are looking at in which the Bitcoin dominance will actually drop. Say this is the new trend here. Perfect. You're breaking through this. You retest and go down. That's going to be massive altcoin season. But in between, there are going to be these bounces, which means 30, 40, 50 percent correction on the other end. So if you go 10, 20, 30, 40 X levered and you are new to this, that's literally the market putting you inside the grinder. It's done. You don't want to do that. You literally don't want to ruin this market cycle. The opportunity right now is super huge. Those who waited for two, three years for this time, you, if you are new here now, don't need that time. You're lucky. We had the patience or we needed that amount of patience and discipline to come through this cycle, to go through the bear market, to sit through this and to ride this to the upside. Right now, we are nearing that area where all coins are about to pop. Use that for your advantage. And if you want to get help, come to the Scientific Investor family, which more than 1,000 members trust as of today. If you haven't smashed the like button yet, I would request, guys. It was really hard with this voice today. So if you smash that like button, I appreciate that a lot. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.